welcome back to another video. Um, today I'll be doing a uh, video on what if enchantment tables got updated. So, um, this is the basic level 30 enchantment table. Um, right now it's currently just not as good at enchanting as game villages and just purchasing enchanted books from villagers. Um, and really if you're Gonna use enchantment table is probably only gonna be at the beginning of the game before you've like gotten a village. Well, even then, uh, you can get a villager breeder quite early. Like, um, I recently just started a new world, got a villager breeder, got um, a nine a pickaxe and an anvil and a fortune three villager, and then just enchanted an iron pickaxe with fortune three um, before I even got my first diamond. So, um, it, that basically just goes to show how, um, you know, much the enchantment table needs updating because you don't even need to get an enchantment table for, to enchant things and stuff. So, um, let's go out the chain. Look at the ch the changes that I would like to make to them. So, uh, add uh, it so that you know more bookcases, this many bookcases. So, so that's um, six, twelve, twenty-four. Um, and uh, 6, we have 12, 24, um, 36, 40, so yeah, that's like 40 books um, for level 14 shaman table. Um, this six, uh, unlocks mending as a possibility, which currently you cannot get mending uh, from enchanting uh, anything at any point in time, so uh, that's nice and uh, it makes it possible to also get level 5 enchantment enchantments on your items. Um, add 10 more bookcases to that, you get level 50, unlock level 50 enchantments, which uh, uh, give uh, which give uh, um, a greater chance to get uh, uh, amending and the uh, and level 5 enchantments. And it also, but it also has the possibility to, you know, for you to get curses such as Curse of Vanishing, Curse of Binding, and all that. And, you know, it might also maybe add um, Curse of Breaking, so it'd be like the opposite to one breaking um and yeah just um have that uh, on there and yeah uh, i think this will be uh, quite good because then um it adds a bit of risk and reward um so that's definitely a solid upgrade to the current enchantment table but some more upgrades i want to make to it are add the ability to transfer enchantments from book to item and vice versa now um, uh, like, like the reason why I was uh, telling, think the reason why I want this to happen is because this will make the enchanting table the center of enchanting because, um, not only will you be able to enchant stuff with it, but you'll also be able, you know, with just the enchanting table, it's, uh, and the bookcases and getting enchantments onto the and onto the item using this, but then you'll also, uh, if you have a book, you'll also be able to use it to transfer enchantments from a book to an item or from one item to another item or any combination of those things um, and uh, um, I think this will be a lot better way than anvils to do this like anvils can should retain their ability to uh, add enchantments like that's not uh, uh, something I really want to change but I want to give the enchanting table this ability um, and uh, um, the enchant and the anvil will still have a use with it being able to um, repair items, uh, enchanted items, which the enchanting table will not. So if you don't have mending, um, that you know that's uh, um, yeah. So um, or like if you have a bow with infinity on, and that, uh, for some reason, even though you can get tons and tons and tons and tons of arrows, very easily and you won't be using too many of them uh, a lot of the time so it's just like why not just go for mending uh, because then you have to repair but yeah but if you're one of the people who go for infinity of mending that you'd still have to use an anvil I guess um, but yeah this would just be a good upgrade for the enchant table also add a re-roll button to re-roll enchantments because Right now, the only way to re-roll enchantment, uh, so I have the sword out, you put the sword in the, 
the enchanting table. You have these, Fire Aspect, uh, Bane of Arthur Pods 2, and Sharpness 1. Uh, but I didn't want any of them, I, I wanted, like, Smite to kill the river. So, uh, right now you'd have to enchant it. Then, dis then disenchant on the grindstone. Then, put it back in. And hope that you got what you want. And if you didn't, just keep doing that again and again until you get what you want. The problem with this is that it costs levels and the, the lapis to do this. So, uh, I thought adding a re-roll button up here would be nice. So, oh yeah, no, I forgot to mention. Uh, it would be a separate tab. So, a little tab up here for the um, transferring I uh, item uh, enchantments between items and books. And I could also add like it, you know, so it would be like item, book... Get, and then you get your internet item, or you could like um, make it so that you'd need like an ender pill, or you know, because ender pill teleporting, you teleporting the items from one item to another here, um, or lapis to do it. You know, you could make it cost something, or maybe gold or whatever. Anyway, um, but yeah, and here you just have a reroll button in this corner here. You just be like, okay, I don't like it. I don't like these enchants. I want a different set. Bam, and then you get a different set, and that'll just make it more. Uh, that'll just make it easier and quicker to get the enchantments you want. Um, also, I was thinking um, now this could be added to any enchantment table, so like an enchantment table store on its own, or a level thirty enchantment ta table or below, or level forty, or level fifty, just like any level of enchanting table. Just add a free up by free goal at the area underneath it. To with it sat in the center like this, a bit like a beacon. And then this would uh, um, increase the chances to get rare enchantments and, uh, um, let, you know, uh, it would also increase the chance of getting higher leveled enchantments. Um, and if you want to use to make it so that it take to decreases the chance of getting uh, um, curses at level, uh, um, at level 50. Um, and one last thing, uh, let you pick and choose enchantments to remove or move to a book, uh, and this will also apply to curses. So it's just like, um, I don't know if this would be in the same uh, tab as this one, but you know, you'd uh, go into here, you'd go to the tab, and then you'd put in your uh, book or item or whatever, and then you, and then the list of enchantments would appear here, that or something. Then you'd. Uh, like click the one you want to uh, the ones you'd want to transfer to the other, another item. So say you had uh, you got an enchanted book from a, a desert temple with um, Riptide and Smite, and you're just like, oh I want Smite from my sword to kill the Wither, but I also want Riptide on my trident, and so it's like oh I know I'll stick it in there, a book in there. Uh, or the trident weather, transfer riptide, you know, put a bit of lapis in there, done. Um, and I just think that makes, um, you know, multiple uh, items with multiple enchantments a bit better because then you can just like pick and choose which you want to take off it and then con and make, it gives you more control around the, um, what enchantments you want, what, what enchantments you have. Um, I think all of these are, pre uh, are a pretty good way of making the enchantment table, well just updating it, it basically, is these are all good ways of updating it, making it better, making it, uh, you know, giving it new possibilities, and just making it a um, better you know, item in general. And I really like um, the idea of the goal because it's just like, oh I have some gold and gold is very plent is more plentiful now because you can go to the nether and get gold you can use fortune but you know you just add gold to here bam now you've upgraded it and it's doing better and then you can do and it's like and then you just do the same and like i said you could just do it with all levels of enchanting tables so it's just like a fairly expensive way of um, increasing how good your enchanting and uh, enchantments are from the enchanting table, but it's also um, 
It also makes a lot of sense because um, if you do know, gold has a ha better chance of getting rare, rare enchantments than any other material in the game. The only one that even comes close to it is Neverite, and that's because Neverite has a bit of gold in it. So, um, yeah, just do that. I even remember, I can't remember how far back this was, but I remember uh, back in my early days of playing Minecraft, there was a glitch with enchanting tables where uh, if you had um, a gold sword, and back then it was only diamond because there weren't any neverite, and you put the gold sword in there, then the enchantments or swords would lock, so um, you could put in your diamond sword, and the diamond would ha sword would have the same enchantments as the gold sword, um, and then that would just be a way of getting gold level enchantments on your diamond sword. Um, now, I'm, I don't want that to be but I'm just saying that, um, I just remembered that. Um, but yeah, I think this is a good way of ex not only expanding upon what the enchantment table can do, but also uh, um, upgrading, you know, upgrading it what I can already do. Um, so improve it. This uh, this improves and expands upon the enchantment table. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next live stream video slash whatever I decide to do. Bye bye.